All right, now let's go ahead and convert the decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So we've got an angle of 15. We have a very precise measurement of 15.1258 degrees. That's pretty precise. So let's uh, convert it to navigation and convert it to minutes and seconds. So all you have to do in this case is, again, think of an hour. The de a degree is the same as an hour. So in other words, we've got 15 degrees and 0.1258 of an hour. So what you can do is you want to convert it to minutes first. So you'd have 15 degrees and then take the 0.1258 times 60 and that would give us our minutes. So if you do that, 0.1258 times 60 is 7.584, so this is the same as 15 degrees, 7.548 minutes. Okay, well, we can go ahead and convert, so that 0.548, that is minutes, so we can convert that 0.548 to seconds. So we've got 15 degrees, 7 minutes, and then you take the 0.548, and take that times 60 again because there's 60 seconds in a minute. And so 0.548 times 60, and you get 32.88. So 15 degrees, 7 minutes, 32.88 seconds is con the conversion for that. Okay. Just to see it, why don't you try it now? We've you've done done that, so let's let's do another one. So stop the video and try this one. One, five, nine, two, I don't know. Let's, let's change that to a seven. Okay, so 27.7592. So stop the video, see if you can do it, and I'll then finish the video once you're done. So if you take, so we've got 27 degrees, and then for minutes you take 0.7592 times 60, so we've got 27 degrees, 0.7592 times 60 is 45.552 minutes, so then we've got 27 degrees, 45 minutes, and then take the 0.552 times 60 again for seconds, and so we'd have 27 degrees, 45 minutes, and 0.552 times 60 is 33.12 seconds. And so if you got that as the answer, you're ready to try these on your own. Have a good one and good luck.